As a preliminary matter, this is Mary Ann Easley, Chair. Permit me to confirm that all members and persons anticipated on the agenda are present and can hear me. Members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Allison Forsgren. Diane Flaherty. Here. Vanessa Larrabee. Here. Kendra Lockley is here. Here. Judith Perkins. Here. Susie Spring. Linda Williams and Marianne Easley, myself. Okay. Staff, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Taylor Hilst. Present. Laura Stewart. Here. And as far as speakers go today, uh, we have no anticipated speakers. Joe Aguirre was planning to join us, but he um, now has an alternative um, responsibility, so he's not gonna be here. Um, good afternoon. This open meeting of the Council on Aging is being conducted remotely consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12, 2020, due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth, due to the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus. In order to mitigate the transmission of the COVID-19 virus, we have been advised and directed by the Commonwealth to suspend public gatherings. And as such, the governor's order suspends the requirement of the open meeting law to have all meetings in a publicly accessible physical location. Further, all members of public bodies are allowed and encouraged to participate remotely. The order which you can find posted with agenda materials for this meeting allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely so long as reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. Ensuring public access does not ensure public participation unless such participation is required by law. This meeting will feature public comment if anyone decides to participate. Hi guys. Hi, welcome. Welcome. So, I sorry, I'm late. I'm long speech. <laughs> what? But you're now um, indicated as present. For this meeting, the Council on Aging is convening by video conference via Zoom app as posted on the town's website identifying how the public may join. Please note that this meeting is being recorded and that all attendees are participating by video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that other folks may be able to see you and to take care not to screen share your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. All supporting materials that have been provided members of this body are available on the town's website unless otherwise noted. The public is encouraged to follow along using the posted agenda unless I note otherwise. We are now turning to the first item on the agenda. Before we do so, permit me to cover some ground rules for effective and clear conduct of our business and to ensure accurate meeting minutes. I will introduce each speaker on the agenda. After they conclude their remarks, the chair will go down the line of members, inviting each by name to provide any further comment, questions, or motions. Please hold until your name is called. Further, Please remember to mute your phone or computer when you are not speaking. Please remember to speak clearly and in a way that helps generate accurate minutes. For any response, please wait until the chair yields the floor to you and state your name before speaking. If members wish to engage in a conversation with other members, please do so through the chair, taking care to identify yourself. Um, after members have spoken, the chair will afford public comment to those members of the public that have joined the meeting via Zoom. Members of the public who wish to speak must state their names and be acknowledged by the speaker through the chair. <laughs> must and be acknowledged by and speak through the chair. Finally, each vote taken in this meeting will be conducted by roll call vote. The end. And we now have Susie Spring in addition. So if you want to indicate that she's also in attendance, um, Diane. Thank you. Okay, the first um, agenda item today 
is approval of the agenda. So I'm assuming that everybody has had a chance to look at it and um, I'd like somebody to make a motion to approve it. So moved. That was Kendra, okay. And a second? A second of the agenda? Is that I'll it? second. Okay, Diane. And um, is there anybody who does not approve it as, so that I don't have to go down the whole list? Okay, well, I will assume then that the agenda has been approved. Um, we'll move on to the next item, which is approval of two sets of meeting minutes. Uh, first, those from August 5th, and second, those from our last meeting, which was October 7th. So let's start with August 5. And um, if there's anybody who wants to make a motion to approve them, um, after that, we can see if there's any comment. August 5 minutes, has anybody had a chance to read them? I read them. You want to make a motion to approve them or do you want to make, well, go ahead and make a motion if you want to. I make a motion to approve the minutes. Right. Of, of, of April or oh no, August 5th. Any discussion at all? Who made that motion? Allison. Okay. Yeah, let me remind everybody, please say your name. Um, okay, a second on uh, approving the minutes of August meeting. Kendra seconds. Thank you. Is there anybody who does not approve? So I don't have to go down the whole list. <laughs> okay, can so you, approved. Can you, make sure, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Susie Spring, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure. <laughs> um, we'll move on to last month's minutes, which is the minutes of October 7. If somebody wants to make a motion for approval, then we can um, open it for discussion. Make a well, motion to approve it. How about I myself? Um, I will make a, a motion to approve them, but I also, Diane, want to note a couple of changes that I recommend. Yes. I, yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Number seven, the senior center. You have say that it's to be presented to the select board. I want you to know it had already been presented to the select board. Okay. Um, the second item I want to mention is that the word salt marsh is one word. Right. I meant to change that before I sent them the other day. Thank you. Okay. It's there are many this, items throughout throughout where it's two words. And the last right. um, suggested change I have is number nine. D as in drive, you say the N-C-O-A and it's really the N-C-E-A, the Nantucket Center for Elder Affairs. Thank you, I had a question mark down there, so thank you. Okay. Perfect, N-C-E-A, okay. So is there any other discussion on the October minutes? Can I have a second to approve them? Second. Susie Spring, second. Okay. Is there anybody who does not agree with them? Okay, they've been approved by all, unanimously. All right, on to the official business. Um, Public conference. Okay, Diane? Oh no, I just had written down public comment. I just, I just don't have the agenda in front of me. Oh, well, there's nobody here attending from the public. Okay, so, um, okay perfect. There was, we don't have any public comment. Okay. Um, the first item on the agenda is a suggestion that came from Laura. And so um, I think I'm going to turn this over to you, Laura, since you know more about it than anybody. Well, I just thought it might be nice to do a soup cooking class via Zoom, obviously. Um, and it seems that we can do that with the health departments okay, as long as Jeannie and I watch it. Um, and it could be either somebody does a demonstration and we send out the recipe or I send out the recipe and say, go buy these products to make this soup. And a chef would prepare and demonstrate 
in real time with the participants to see so they could make soup. We used to do it here in person. Um, we had a good following. People loved it. Uh, the, my only problem is I can't go out and find a chef because I can't solicit. So that's why I wanted Joe to participate to see. Um, and I, and I thought it was a good idea if um, NCEA was willing to, you know, maybe they know somebody. You know, it's that time of year when chefs are kind of, you know, March, April, May. They might, they, I don't know if they're traveling anymore. So they might be stuck here and looking for something to do. Also NCEA to see if maybe they need to be paid. Um, I don't know if somebody would volunteer to do that. Um, I'm willing to do it, but I thought it would be more fun if there was somebody professional. Does it have oh to be God. in your kitchen? Oh my God. No, I just get off no. Of it would be from their kitchen. Everybody would be in their own home and they- right, But the, the chef, can he be in his kitchen? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, because it's all Zoom and so there's no health, you know, requirements yeah. whatsoever, except that, or not health, that we watch to make sure nobody injures themselves. Um, do just you a way have to make it more people? social. Do we, do we have anybody in mind? Because I've got a few chefs that might volunteer. Uh, before you go on, Susie, can, oh Kendra, my God. Been, <laughs> Kendra, our chef <laughs> in residence, like, what am I, chap liver? Okay, well, you're, you're already on. doing so much. You're I on. Well, I could make the soup that they're going to eat, you know, the next day. Oh. You yep. know what I'm saying? I mean, soup is so easy. easy. But I mean, if you have somebody else, I have no problem, but. Oh, Kendra, we love you. <laughs> oh, come on, give me more. <laughs> but so, seriously, I would, I would be, I'm look, so looking for something to do and I would be happy to do it. And it would not be that hard. So All you would just demonstrate favor. it and they wouldn't be making it well, themselves. Say what? You would just be demonstrating, you would yeah. just be like a cooking show, like we're going to watch Top Chef. Right, right. I just yeah. can't do it for one person as opposed to 45. <laughs> right, right. But you know, um, yeah, I mean, don't you think, oh, I guess not that the soup that they would have because they're going to make it, right? So we would do a, a different. Thing. Right, well, you know, that pickup will probably end once the weather, you know, I was just thinking soup pickup for November and then we would move on to something else. Um, I have other things on my list that I'll tell you about when it's my turn. Okay. Uh, but uh, I just thought it would be, I was just trying to get people on Zoom and be sociable. They're not reacting to like a coffee clutch or, you know, they don't want to get together for anything that hasn't worked. So I thought if they were doing something and they got something out of it and we've done it before and it was very successful, that maybe we could do it again and see. Um, I've got a question. Allison. So, so my church just started a cooking, a zoom cooking class and it was great. Everyone loved it. Lydia's at home making soup in her kitchen and people are tuned in. Um, we could take it one step further perhaps and put little bags together like the library does of ingredients. So, so people could really? take, you know, they could have the stuff that they would need um, and the NCEA could pay for it. So we could put together like- Could we drop it off for them or do, no, they have to come pick it up. They, yeah, they could pick it up, right? <laughs> they what? Yeah, they sorry, might not want to come out of the house. Sounds like we should deliver it. Laura, what did you say that they want to come out or they, I'm sorry. I think, you know, that everybody needs a reason to get out of the house these days. If the weather is terrible that day, Ginny and I are, I'm happy to drop it off. Right. You know, we could go either way. We could say, what do you want? You know, wherever they live isn't too far away. Right. Because, you know, sometimes well, going to the store that? to get ingredients is a pain in the butt. So and we don't want seniors to go to the store any more than they have to. Right. Yeah, I think the idea of offering, especially if someone didn't have reliable transportation to have the, uh, you know, we, you know, we're ready for pickup, but you're, you have an option for delivery if you need. And would yeah, be and I think that what would be really is great is that I could order, get all the food, what they would need, because I order it. Oh. Because let's say we have 20 people. So <laughs> I could get doing is it what are you laughing about we're not gonna have to people oh okay so i'm really optimistic 
and I'll I'll join I'm in. Sorry, I just think I have a fault. No, I'm only kidding. Well, it used to be you. It used to be me. So, okay. Well, how well, many people so, I can just get uh, it? This stuff, and we can put it in little paper bags and take it off, and I can make, you know, homemade chicken stock or something like that for them, and you know, go over and feed them afterwards. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying, you know, and then maybe somebody else can do another. I mean, I'm not, I don't want to do all of them because, you know, so. And then maybe a copy of whatever recipe you're cooking. Of course. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Kitchen sink. I have people, so, I have friends too that would, you know, definitely do it. So. And, and so Laura, what are you thinking? Like once a month, there'll be a cooking class and. That's what we used to do. Once a month soup. Yeah, That'd be great. Soup is just easy and it's a great time of year and seniors don't eat a ton. So we don't need to make anything else crazy. I think soup is good because everybody's always comes out completely different than the next person's. And so like if it was split pea, there'd be some, there'd be like a cup of peas and an yeah. onion and some stock and a ham hock. And That's what we used hock. to do. We used to sure, just buy all the goods and they would yeah. actually pay us $5 so we could keep continuing. But if NCEA wants to um, help us out with that, then we don't have to ask them to pay. So that's completely up to what you guys want to, I'm just, what, what you guys want to do. Well, Joe is very amenable to paying for things. Um, right, and I and like told me, Even though he couldn't be here for the discussion, um, just let him know because they're very open to this. So I planned after this meeting to get back to him right away. and. So Great. here's what we decided. And um, if you're willing to pick up the costs, we'll estimate them at some point. Perfect. And so we can't ask people to donate things because of, I mean, like, COVID. no. And so, but can we ask chefs if they can, if they want to participate in this? Yes, if we're offering to, to pay, we can't solicit, you know, donations in kind being like a, a the, an arm of the town, that wouldn't be appropriate. Yeah. Um, but if people are finding that people don't want to vo volunteer, just like the exercise instructors, um, we could, you know, assess for interest and pay. Okay. But that's where NCEA comes in. That's why we're a good threesome. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so let's just like, so Kendra can do the first month and we should find different people to do different months and get it all set up. Is that what you're thinking, Laura? Sure, if you want to do different chefs each month. Or else Kendra can do it all. I don't care, but. Well, let, I would like to suggest that Kendra do one and then just let her decide if she wants to do the second one or if she's decided that it's something she wants to pass on to somebody else. Oh, no, I, I'm happy to, you know, okay. do it. And if somebody comes up with somebody, you know, we can plan it together or whatever. You know, I've, I'm running through all these things for people, you know, making a, you know, Italian wedding soup and, you know, having the little meatballs all ready for the people, you know, set it up so it's easy for them to make it. Perfect. Um, and so, how, so did you, they actually you, make it, Laura, or did they just take the recipe and make it the next day or something? No, we would buy everything at the okay. salt wars. They would pay us $5 for the goods. Everybody would be sitting around a table chatting about whatever half the part is just the socialization of it and then they get to go home with some soup for dinner oh i see and but now it's going to be that's right because it was but now it's just going to be on zoom so it's just you're going to be watching me okay so and then yeah. they all right so so basically oh i think that's cool so we i think it's cool like, like one night or you know the night before have you know come over you know somebody come over and you know we can put the bags together yep. well i keep thinking it's 20 people it's gonna be five people i could do yeah it. it's gonna be yeah and i can tell you who they are oh. <laughs> so laura, laura i've got a question for you um so, so laura once i turn 60 which is going to be in a couple of weeks yeah i can sign up to become a member of the salt marsh i will send you our informed consent Please, the soup there, there, Ali. Forget about. It. <laughs> no, and so and so, I'll sign up for the soup class. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, that will be fun. Yeah. Okay, should be. That's good. Laura, That's do you have enough of an endorsement to get this ball rolling? I'm sorry. 
Do you have a, enough of an endorsement to get this ball rolling? Yeah. Start, you know, to so get Laura, a vote just, on it? Just touch base with each other um, yep. tomorrow, whatever, and we can okay. plan it. Heather and, and I will chat. We'll be out there. Talk to Joe. Right. Cool. And he's already amenable, so right. should, sure that, should be easy. that part should be easy. Just nice to have him involved. Yes, I agree. Great. All right. It's a go. Any other discussion on this? No, but I think that's Great. good. You know, I'd also like to suggest that um, you can leave your computer on after you make the soup, because there are always a couple of people who would just as soon hang around and eat their soup and have a five minutes. Exactly. Of that's what really? happens after exercise. Yeah. Fun. yeah. And that's what we're trying to do. Just get people talking a little more where it's not like, okay, let's sit down and have coffee and stare at each other. <laughs> so this is how just many of these seniors have computers, number one, and number two, how many of these seniors know how to do Zoom? All of the ones that I will, because they're not going to know about it unless they get my newsletter. So right. have but have you have to sign up for Zoom kind of first. So you'd want to orient to all these people how to get right. before they even get. Otherwise, yeah. it's going to be frustrating for them. Well, Laura's newsletter has included Zoom classes. Oh, Ooh. yes. So just she's been getting those. Ha, good. But good suggestion, Susie. Um, anything else on this subject? Okay, we're gonna move on to Taylor Hilst to give us an update on what's going on with COVID-19. It continues, <laughs> anybody hasn't noticed. Um, I know I've said this every meeting since we resumed in July, but we do not yet have a date um, for reopening for in-person activities. And we will have to continue with virtual um, and drive through for um, the foreseeable future. Um, it, it's just much safer. So um, does anyone like have any questions? I, mean, I know we've talked about this a lot, but does anyone have any questions about that or anything? It's disappointing. I know. It's, I, as you know, it's obviously Laura, Jenny, they're doing a fantastic job with the drive through and virtual, but we know it's it's not the same and seniors have really taken, you know, the biggest hit in all, in all of this. Um, it's re it's really sad. Um, Laura, is it okay if I share about the Legion or is that part of your report? Go ahead. You can do whatever um, you want. I'll just fill in whatever you don't. <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, Laura had, um, the fan a fantastic idea, which I discussed with the health department to, for the, for Thanksgiving that's provided by the Legion because they are doing um, pickups instead of having people come in, obviously, that we're gonna do some of that distribution from the salt marsh, specifically for seniors. Um, it will be a lot safer and a lot less congested and they can just drive through. And Laura is a serve safe staff. So she's aware of, you know, from a food safety perspective, how to keep the food at the appropriate temperature and, and things like that. So I think that that will be, um, a really nice partnership and was a fantastic idea. I'm excited to hear how it goes. Thank you, Laura. Um, the, the rest of my updates are about staffing. The first is that Brenda McDonough, who is the facilitator for the Commission on Disability, has moved her office into the Salt Marsh. She is using the um, computer room. She works about uh, 12 hours a week and it's kind of, um, spaced out so when we do reopen for um in-person activities her presence won't like impact programming but i think it's um really fantastic that she's moved in and i hope that it leads to more kind of organic collaboration with the commission on disability their motto is access for all and i think that there's room for more partnership and it might be nice to have her or invite the chair to a coa meeting um so that they can talk about comdis's mission and like the things that they do just you know, not just an idea i think that that's right, yeah. really nice because she's and, and when we do open for in person it will be nice that um she's around and that seen you know seniors have access to her kind of putting a 
a face to even something as simple as who does do the handicap parking, you know, tickets for, for your car. Um, she's really fantastic. And I think it's going to be, um, I think it was very fortuitous that she lost her office space um, mm -hmm. and moved in. <laughs> is uh, I'm here now is just to be clear, Brenda moved into the salt marsh. Yes, she is working out of the computer room now. Um, okay. She works pretty limited hours. So when she when we can reopen for in-person, her presence won't impact programming. And if we need to, we can move her around. She doesn't need to stay in the com computer room. Right now, Anne is in the middle office and Laura is in her regular office. But I'm imagining that once we can open for in-person capacity restrictions, will have loosened significantly and there might be an option to move Brenda in with Laura. We'll, we'll figure it out if it's not working for her to stay in that room. Um, I was on I was on the commission for 28 years. So Brenda worked for me at one point. She, and if fantastic. anybody needs to get her, I always have her private email and her uh, <laughs> cell phone. <laughs> so we're really excited that she moved in. And then the final thing is, as I sent you all an email um, a couple of weeks ago about my own departure, but I wanted to let you know that my last day will be the 12th. And we're in the process of um, replacing me. The ad has been in the paper and applications are due on Friday. So I can't be replaced. I'm just saying. Oh, thank you. Uh, Taylor, we're going to miss you so much. I'm really going to miss you guys too. And I, you know, it, 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 I've been with the town for over five years, but it seems so, it seems so fast. And I thought I was a lifer. <laughs> so where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> I've kind of surprised. I, I'm staying. I'm staying local, um, and I I will send you all an email letting you guys know where I'm going. But I don't know that everyone where I'm going knows that I'm coming. <laughs> I don't want to say it in a public meeting just yet. Just in, I don't want to surprise anybody. <laughs> with, oh, I think I know where you're going. Never mind. With my presence. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> But uh, I'll, tell, I'll tell you all very soon once that I can confirm that there's been some sort of internal announcement on, on there. And But I'm staying local and I can guarantee that we'll all continue to work together. I know where you're going. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's, a, it's not goodbye. <laughs> Taylor, there's we some... hope you'll come back as a guest at least because- I would love to. So <laughs> <laughs> We're still going to be hearing from her. <laughs> <laughs> you sure will. So that's the big- um, human services uh, news. Does anyone have any questions or comments for me? No, I don't want to go. Are you going I'm, back to the island home? No, but tell us. I'd love to finish out my career there. Maybe I'll go back in, you know, in a while. I'm going to be dealing with people of a different kind. <laughs> yes, Diane. Oh, sorry. Diane. What, what is um, Brenda's... Um, um, role what is her she's is she... the staff facilitator staff for the facilitator. commission on disability and thank you um, she functions she pretty independently yeah. but she does fall under um human services and they're a really 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 fantastic group okay so she's the staff facilitator correct for... she does all the uh, permits the parking the um, handicap parking right. permits and, and coordinates the meetings Right, I know. I know we're not. Yes, yeah, really nice. I just didn't know what her uh, title was for the meetings. Thank you. Any other questions or comments for Taylor? No, just other don't than, go. Then beating it out of her where she's going. <laughs> I really, really, really have loved working with all of you. This job has been like such a blessing, and I'm sorry I'm not staying longer. Well, not as sorry as we are. Uh, we'll get someone that's going to blow me out of the water. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Make no. sure of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, next on the agenda is Laura. You're up again. Okay. So um, one new thing is that we've started hearing tests again. I think Taylor brought that up um, last time. So it went really well. She was booked. She's going to be here once a month. Um, and it's very well needed. So it went really well. I did attach um, the senior websites that we've been advertising just to show you all the programs that they offer because um, the Senior Learning Network is really 
excellent. And people are loving all of that stuff. So just so you know what's going on. Um, since I wrote the my report for you, two other things came up. We've uh, started our senior dinners again with collaborations with the restaurants. And we have, the fairgrounds is going to start next Tuesday, I think it is. And um, they'll give us a menu. They'll pack everything individually. I'll go pick it up. People will sign up and just drive through and pick it up. And it will all be cold. And then they'll just go home and reheat it for dinner. So it's the same thing that we used to do for the past, I don't know, four or five years. But it wow. won't be social. But there'll be, I just want to keep the collaboration going. So yeah. when we can be social again, they haven't forgotten about us. And uh, Bill Pooter said it was fine. And even though they had a hit this year, but he was willing to do it. So we're doing that. Um, I was also in touch with um, Kelly Steven from the food pantry. And they have some donations of milk and bread. The milk's from Cumberland Farms and the bread is from something natural that they just can't get rid of for whatever reason. So they're gonna be dropping some off and I will put that on our constant contact email and have people pick up before it's all expired. So our seniors are gonna be well fed through all of those collaborations in Kendra. <laughs> Great. So those and are the- rest The restaurant meals, are those gonna be once a week, once a once month? A month. Once a month. Done it once a month. Um, you know, and so each one, they'll decide if they are, you know, capable of doing it this year. If not, that's fine. Um, and we'll go from there. But everybody loved it. So I was, if anybody can think of any, re how to get everybody social during that time, I thought you could pick it up. Everybody has to get on Zoom <laughs> at six o'clock at night with their meal, but it would be 30 people. So that's hard. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Uh, so the socialness isn't there, but they will be well fed. Um, the other cool thing is that I got a call from Sarah and Paul Sharp, who are members of the Anglers Club. And this time of year, if you're a member, you have to pay your dues and you also have to spend a certain amount of money each year. And if you don't spend that money in the restaurant, you need to pay it to be able to be a member. And they have two little kids, so they have not spent all that money. So they talked with Bonnie at the Anglers Club and they're gonna donate food, another meal to our seniors. So in December, they're gonna get, um, hold your horses now, lobster pot pie. Wow. Can you believe it? Unbelievable. I think. Wow. Yeah, isn't that great? And so, and so that will be the second um, meal of the, the, that'll be that's December's it. meal. That'll be December's meal. Sophie T's is usually in December, but I'll just move him, you know, Rob into beginning of January. So that is fabulous. Bonnie loved the idea. She's hoping that more members might do that, not just for the salt marsh, but for, you know, donate food meals to any other entity that might be willing to take them. So, you know, um, I was thinking about the um, getting together on Zoom for those for those um, meals. Like, what if like Peggy Kaufman was the hostess, and so the day of the meal, I mean, you could have somebody that was the hostess, and then you know, if you if you wanted to go join her for a meal, that would be great. But it, you didn't have to. And then maybe Paul Connors could host one night and. You know, like, Great idea. You know, I don't know who who RSVPs for those things, but you know, it's people are getting used to Zoom these days, and right. just because I hide myself when I eat doesn't mean I wouldn't host a uh, host a party. So, well, we need a hostess with the mostess. <laughs> I've been eating lunch all since we've been here. So, <laughs> but um, yes, I mean. Again, I'm going to be 60 soon, so pretty soon I'll I'll get to go to those things. We'll, but, we'll um, zoom your birthday party. <laughs> what? We'll zoom your birthday. Party. I know. Sadly, I know. But anyway, I think that having someone host would be great. Was if you can think of how to put that together and make it be social. Yeah, good idea. So that's my news. They're going to be well fed. 
And, and I have a question from the last time. You said that you were setting up uh, tablets for seniors. Is that is there anything happening on that front? We're working on that. We just put another email into IT to see where we stand. Haven't heard back from them, but it's in the works. Well, have me... you ordered tablets? We haven't ordered them yet. We're going to order them through I through our IT department, oh, like the town's IT department, and we're also going to purchase data plans for them, so that site isn't an issue if someone doesn't have it. Um, and so do you have people already earmarked who will use them? I have two on my list. Great. Just because it went out to the fire department and they let some of their clients know. So we have two so far. We haven't advertised Great. it really yet because we don't know how many we're getting or how we are, we're even going to do the program, but we do have two. Wow. Perfect. Yeah. Any other questions or comments for uh, Laura? Laura, thank you for doing all this work. I think it's, oh, yeah. I think you're shining. And there's nobody here to bug me. <laughs> 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 Gotta do something. <laughs> no, I think you're being really creative and, uh, and it's great. Thank you. So, yeah. You're saying that you, you miss being annoyed by everybody coming and going? Well, I'm a social person at heart, so <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like to be bugged and talk to and, you know, make the connections. So I miss it. Um, I'm going to move on to the last item on the agenda today, which is I was just going to give a brief report um, based on the NCEA's last meeting, which was very recently, the third uh, Wednesday of last month. Um, I wasn't able to be there, but um, I'm gleaning this from their minutes. Um, I also want everyone to know that their annual appeal has been mailed out. They do an annual mailing um, asking for donations to the NCEA and that has gone out. So I don't know if any of you have received your letters. I got mine. I got so, mine. Yeah. They're usually very uh, successful with that. I think last year they raised something like $60,000 just through that mailing. So they're- Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're very successful with that generally. So I just wanted you to be aware of that in case anybody asks you. Um, the other thing that was mentioned in their report is that they know it's gonna be a long time before we have a new senior center. So their committee that looks at building and grounds is actually thinking about um, making some improvements to the salt marsh building. So that is at least in the works. They're talking about that and they're likely, you know, they're likely to go ahead and make some changes to the building knowing that um, whatever happens with the senior center, it's gonna be quite a while. What about the Nantucket Inn? Um, I don't know where that stands other than what I read in the newspaper. So- um, I heard it's I very expensive. Very expensive to, to make it up to snuff. But who knows? I don't think anybody's made a decision. Hmm. Hmm. Well, plus my client is the one that has the PNS with the current owner of the Nantucket Inn and they're in court. So nobody's going anywhere unless we sign off. So there's a lot of problems with it right now. Okay. More in the future, I guess. Um, also, I guess the NCEA has been um, funding the Senior Learning Network that you mentioned, Laura, um, and that which actually offers tours of museums that um, I think you said is very successful. So um, they're very they're generous with their funding. So we should keep them in mind. <laughs> um, that's all that's on the agenda for today. Uh, unless anybody has anybody else, anything else that you want to bring up? Oh, I um, I spoke to Laura over last weekend, weekend before. Um, now that it's, you know, getting darker early, um, I know that the Harvey Foundation oh, can't movie, can't hear you. Uh -oh. movie, what? Can't hear you. I know that, um, can you hear me now? Yep. Yes. Okay. I know that the Harpy Foundation did a um, donation with the Dreamland for a movie um, for Halloween. So I didn't know if it would be good to, you know, call 
Joe before he leaves and ask them to do, you know, a movie night for seniors and do like a great classic movie like Casablanca or, you know what I mean? Something. For, Actually yeah. at the movie theater? No. The drive-in? The, the drive cool. So people stay in their cars. Or if it is at the movie theater, then, you know, I don't know how to control people going in and sitting away from each other, you know. They control it at the theater. I have been in there once. They do control it pretty intensely. The okay. concession's not open. Um, they clean the bathrooms every five seconds. But they did have Casablanca, so they do have access to it. They had it at the drive-in this summer. Hmm. I wonder how that works if it's just for seniors. Well, It's a Wonderful Life is coming up at the end of the month also. So they have a lot of classics. Well, the... Um... Casper uh, or Adam's family was playing like last week and it was just for, for um, you know, people who signed up, the members of the club who signed up. So they do just one night for, you know, certain nonprofits. Hmm. Can we put that on the agenda for possible discussion next month and work out some of the details? Because it seems like it's gonna need details. Yep. How long are they going to keep the drive-in going? I have no idea. Hey, hmm. it's supposed to end in September and here we are. It's going to the end of the, it's going right through Thanksgiving weekend right now because we've got tickets for Thanksgiving weekend. Hmm. I guess you just keep your car running, huh? Or yeah. you, yeah, not asphyxiate yeah. yourself. So but they also have jump boxes if the car, you know, dies. A, a question for uh, Taylor or Laura. Um, can one of us approach Joe Hale or uh, somebody at the theater to see if there's anything that could be worked out this winter specifically for seniors? Can we make that approach? He's on his way out. I don't yeah, know. I realize that. Place. I say it could be somebody else. Alicia Carney is going to be taking his place. Yeah, I'm more looking as a, as a kosher for the town to approach them. Yeah, I think it, having an exploratory conversation about like what could we possibly do without like directly soliciting, oh, give us a bunch of free tickets is totally fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So is there somebody who'd like to do that? Vanessa, would you like to do that? Absolutely. Oh, great. Okay. So um, maybe you could just see if there's, you know, what they would like to work out that could be aimed directly at seniors specifically during the winter months. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Uh, anything else that anyone wants to bring up? Uh, so do we have any plans for things we might want to do for Christmas? Like, um, I don't know. They're getting Some... lobster pot pie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true, that's true. And so everybody gets the lobster pot pie you know, or just people who dinners. sign up? 30 dinners, you have to sign up. But Taylor, do you know um, that the NEAT program, are they taking donations again this year like they did in the past? And we're trying to figure out exactly what um, we're going to do. I would say like likely yes, but it might be nice um, if we decided that we wanted to do something, you know, like a little gift, something specific for our, our seniors and um, use the gift account or ask NCEA. Um, to pay for it and it would it would be obviously you know a pickup situation but maybe do like a, a like a drive through little christmas gift pickup or like cookie bag or something like that there goes kendra again though <laughs> <laughs> or, <laughs> how about stop and shop gift cards for 20 bucks <laughs> um you know um atlantic east gave out to our tenants these little battery chargers for your cell phone that might be I don't know, some bulk item that would be a, te a tech, not, you know, something that would help yeah, people save their batteries. I don't know. But everybody's different, different phones, different whatevers. Yeah. Um, this is Kendra. What if we, um, Laura, too, maybe in December before we could do a Zoom cookie making or a Zoom craft, like make a craft, you know, like mm -hmm. I still have tons of stuff left from brown when I did brownies. So, I mean, we could do, you know, and that could be a Zoom yep. function. Definitely. 
That's awesome. But that sounds thinking. like fun, Kendra. We should we should do a little brownie. Um, I know, Allie. That's what I was meeting. thinking. Yeah. So, um, what about an idea about you know how you know, you can buy already a ceramic pot or whatever, and then you draw on it, or you could make a Christmas ornament or whatever, but you buy the already. Um, you know, the base. And then I think you fire them in the oven or just cook them in the oven and then they're a Christmas tree ornament or. Right, or there's the clear glass ones that you can put. Yeah, there's another like idea. Blue and then the sparklers and, you know. You don't even have to buy special pens. Uh, just Google Sharpie and we'll do it. Yeah, yeah, and the cool thing about that is you could make a window ornament. So it just sat in your window without putting it on a tree, you know. Anyway, an idea. Cool. So should we come up with suggestions for our next meeting? Because that's going to be in November. So we'd have to get something going for December. Yep. OK. All right. So everybody think about ideas for our December meeting that we could put into action pretty quickly. I th yeah, I think, <clears throat> I think that that needs to be yeah, I mean, because if let's say we have our first, our I don't know when the next meeting is, but um, we'd want to do if our meeting was went that Wednesday, we want to do it so it's all ready to go by Friday or next the following Tuesday or something for, right? Well, our next meeting is the first Wednesday in December. Right. I don't know what the date that date is. Yeah, so, but I'm just it, it's about three weeks sh a bit shy of Christmas, so it's the second December second. Oh, okay, cool. So, yeah, I mean, if we did whatever that Tuesday is, the following Tuesday, because I can't count, um, would be the uh, the eighth. So we could do something, you know, have everything ready, and then they could do the pick up and pick up the their bag that has the craft making stuff in it. Laura, what do you see for a date that would work? I mean, how does that work when when you need to get out emails and plan? Um, the email is just a week. It's more of getting the product. If we're mm -hmm. ordering something, if it has to do with food or crafts, Kendra and I can just chat on the side and get it done. And, and you guys, if you think of something else to do, I mean, something like that needs, I think needs to be ordered and figured out. And unless Kendra has all this stuff. Well, I have some of it. I don't, I mean, the cookies, what I could do with the cookies, and this is what I, I did with the, uh, for Halloween is I made like a bunch of pumpkins and a bunch of witch's hat. And then I put in little baggies, the, the colored icing. And then we, they got to, you know, so there were three colors. So I could make, you know, a bunch of stars and a bunch of Christmas trees. Mm -hmm. And then with the icing, and then when they pick it up, we go, okay, now we're going to do the perfect and then they zoom with me doing that that sounds excellent then we'll just figure out a date that works for you and we'll advertise them yeah and you just eat the icing if you want <laughs> <laughs> yes Allie you sit there with green lips the green and red lips and the I craft blue, idea I, I blew an elf the ornament that hangs in the window is nice because that they could be a year-round yes I love that yeah yeah so where do you get those from? Michaels. Yep, Michaels. They're um, they're actually in bulk. You can get them, and or you know, I don't trust Amazon these days. But Michaels has them, and okay. um, and they they can be a they have everything for ornament making. Right. Okay. I mean, I'll I, look. There, I was so overwhelmed. You know, it's just amazing how much. Okay. they have but I mean, maybe stuff. she can just go online and order it and not have to go to michael's if it's that overwhelming <laughs> well i mean well, I you know i online. go for one thing and i leave with 70 so <laughs> so we'll plan that kendra we'll plan Absolutely. the ornament thing i'll look into the ornaments we'll yeah plan a cookie thing any Again, other if you're only saying like less than 20 people are going to oh yeah if we get 20 people I'll probably keel over dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe if we don't get 20, we can buy that stuff and that could be the present for the others that don't participate. 
Okay. Is the present save it for next year and you can do it again because you might want a second ornament for your window. Yep. Okay. So we'll plan on those two things. So if anybody has any ideas between now and the next meeting, um, you can just call Laura. There you go. <laughs> but I'll also put it on the agenda for a further discussion at this December meeting because it's very early in December. Uh, anything else anybody has on your mind before we adjourn? Okay, can I get a motion to, to adjourn? I have a motion. Great. I have a motion. Kendra. And a second? I'll I'll second. It. second. Susie. Susie. Okay. Everybody in favor? No, you got to do roll call. I, I, I. Roll call. Is there anybody opposed? No, you I literally have to do a roll call each person's name. Ah, Linda. It's a pain in the butt. Believe me, this is my fifth one this week and my third one today. Well, okay, we have Allison a list. We have Allison a list right here. Yes, we can see each other. Diane Flaherty. Yes. She's on mute, but she says yes. Vanessa Larris. <laughs> yes, goodbye, thank you. Kendra Lockley. Jude Perkins. Jude's not there, I don't think. No, she just Susie? raised her hand. Susie, yes. I'm here. Linda Williams. Yes. Marianne Easley, yes. Okay, goodbye, everybody. It's a wrap. Bye. Thank <laughs> you. Bye. Bye.